Hi, y'all. Well, we are just concluding this week, so I want y'all to finish strong, but I want you to finish thinking about how to start with what really matters. So I said finish with first things first. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Trina Titus Lozano, and I'm a counselor and ordained Christian minister. Hi, Mom. Thanks for joining all the way from Brazil. Well, I had a great week and a great day today, and thanks for the hearts and for all of you watching on the replay, too. But before I finish, I just want to think about what really needs to be first. And y'all, first things first, I'm going to turn to the scripture uh, in Matthew. It's a very familiar scripture for some of you. And Kathy, thanks for joining. I had such a great day with you. For those of you who didn't catch the replay, catch that replay because at noon I was with my friend Kathy and just talking about the importance of friendship. But y'all, when we get turned to Matthew 6.33 for our bedtime scripture tonight, grab your Bible, look it up. Okay, Matthew 6.33. And, but seek first his kingdom, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. You can see me, I know, Mom, and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. So anything that you would typically worry about, God's going to give it to you, okay? It's going to happen. He's going to do it. He knows his part. It's going to happen. He is faithful. You can absolutely be sure that he's going to do what he says he can do. But all you have to do is trust him. So you seek first the kingdom of God. You trust him fully. And when that happens, it's going to, everything's going to just fall into place, basically, is what he's saying here. Y'all, I have a quick story. So, Mom, you're going to love this. One of my clients, okay, now this is a client that was a referral from somebody else. And he came to me a few years ago. And then he's seen me periodically since then. And he has a daughter who does not live here, and she posted on his Facebook a, a testimony and some pictures about her son, who is now 12 years old, and eight years ago, he had his trach removed. And she showed a picture of this, and she said, we are celebrating today eight years of my son having the surgery that allowed him to do what most of us take for granted, which is breathing through our nose and through our mouth. And my grandson, Landon, has had a tracheostomy, had had, has had a trach installed since uh, he was a year old. And now he's going to be turning four in May, and we are praying that he'll be able to have this trach removed and that his nose and his mouth will work correctly so he'll be able to breathe on his own and uh, speak. He's, he struggles speaking because of this and it's just been a difficult, a difficult thing for him to have to deal with this trach. And we just really are trusting God for this healing. Well, you know, as we are trusting God, and we're trusting in His righteousness, we're trusting in what God is doing, we're trusting in, in the faithfulness of God, we know that we don't have to worry, but that everything will be added to us, and that everything will be done in His timing, in His season, and that God's got a plan. Well, you know, this girl, who I've never met before, it's one of my clients, it's my client's daughter, who lives out of state. I've never met before, but but when I saw this Facebook post of, of hers on my client's wall, I was able to connect her with my daughter-in-law and my son, and she is highly recommending uh, the surgeon that they used. And so, you know, who knows? Who knows if this is going to be the right surgeon for Landon? But God knows. I know that. And I also know that nothing is a coincidence and that nothing is an accident and that we don't have to worry about anything because God's got this. He's already got it figured out. We just have to trust him. And as, as Matthew says, seek first the kingdom of God, and all of these things are going to fall into place. It's all going to be added to us. We don't have to worry about food. We don't have to worry about what we're eating or where we're going or, or who's going to do the surgery or when the surgery is going to happen. We literally don't have to worry about anything in our life, y'all, and you don't either. This is the beauty of really walking the walk of a true 
follower of Jesus Christ. Because whenever we, we deny ourselves and we choose to just follow him and really follow his kingdom and we listen, we listen to the leading of the Holy Spirit and we trust God to guide us and direct us and lead us, we don't have to lean on our own understanding, as Proverbs says. We can trust the Lord with all of our heart and not lean on our own understanding. In all of our ways, we acknowledge him and he's going to make our path straight. He's going to take care of everything. So y'all be encouraged tonight. Just seek first the kingdom of God. That's first things first, okay? Just do that first and finish strong this week by determining that you're going to seek first the kingdom of God. Nothing to worry about, y'all. God's got this. So God bless you. Thanks for periscoping with me tonight. I've already got my jammies on, and I'm going to go join the rest of the family for our movie night right now. But you guys have a great uh, rest of your Friday night and a wonderful weekend. I'll be back at noon and 9 tomorrow to give advice. And I'll be back at noon and nine on Sunday. And I'm with you periscoping every day at noon and nine. If you'd like to check out past periscopes, you can go to my website, trinatituslozano.com. But thank you all for joining and have a great rest of the night. Remember to put first things first. God bless you. Bye-bye.